Hi everyone, this is Warren. In this video, we'll be talking about land token migration over to Airbnb token. I picked up this post you know, on Twitter on the on 3rd of October, and it is released from the source that the land token, and if you are a land token or holder, uh, we know that uh, it's going to be migrated sometime in 2020 from uh, land token over to the new RV token. And this news was released. There is no deadline and you can do it. It is an open date. So there is not a hurry for you to quickly do the token swap from land token over to RV token. But in this guide, we will be going to show you how it's going to be carried out. And, and at the same time, it has an additional incentive for people like us that is going to do this token swap early and this is the RV token staking. We'll talk about the staking in the next in another video. We'll keep the, this video short and strictly related to how it's going to swap your tokens from the land token to the RV token. And this is the Twitter post and if you click on this uh, link you should land on this page on Medium. Be sure to read them for all the details. This is the RV token address, the migration contract address is over here. So be sure that you are interacting with this token for our migrations of land over to RV token. You should be uh, making sure that you are interacting with this contract address. And in this contract, it lists how the instruction on the migration guide and we should be proceeding to RV depths. Before we even do that, we need to make sure that we are operating on the Chrome browser and we have the MetaMask. For my case, I am using a, a hardware wallet that I have prior to this video have already connected it to MetaMask. As you can see over here, make sure that you are, you are on the main Ethereum network and have connected your, your wallets. If, you, if yours is uh, residing on MetaMask, that's fine. But for my case, I'm using it. Then the next thing is that uh, for many of, pe of you who are holding land tokens over at centralized crypto exchanges such as Binance and a uh, few others, uh, you, you, should, you should look at their, their notices and announcement for the upcoming migration if they are doing it on behalf of you. Uh, for Binance, which I have some of my land token over at, Binance will be doing a token swap on the scheduled date of the 10th of October and you have any land tokens on their uh, Binance savings products, uh, Binance earned products, uh, they will automatically be sorted over without you needing to do anything. And that's the, that's the additional benefits uh, for using uh, centralized crypto exchanges. But of course, by uh, different exchange, centralized exchanges will work differently. Be sure to check with them if you, if you are holding a, a land token over and over on their wallets and one critical note before we even do the migration is that once this migration is completed you should see that i am unable to quickly share the specific uh, segment but you should observe once you do a token swap that your amount of land token for example is 100 land tokens and once you successfully perform the token swap from land tokens to RV tokens, you should see your amount of land tokens be divided by 100 times, which means that if you have 100 land tokens, once the swap is completed, you should have one RV token, which is 100 divided by 100, that is a one, because uh, the maximum supply of RV token is 100 times lesser than the land token. And most of us can easily just take the equivalent amount of land token that we have and divide it by 100. So we'll, we'll see it in action. Okay, I am going to connect my wallets over, browser wallet, and that's MetaMask. And I have this selected. Make sure you have the right wallet selected. So that's not an issue because we are only interacting with the migration portal. Make sure that you have the land tokens before you even do it. Yeah, it's showing already. Now, this is the amount that I have in the wallets. And when I perform that token swap, you should see the equivalent amount divided by 100. Uh, for this maximum supply, for, for the reason exactly why, uh, you should check out on the papers uh, released by Aave. 
they have uh, reduced their maximum cap, maximum supply of uh, Aave token when announced so much earlier, in the earlier date in 2020. Now I'm going to do this swap for those that are, so I'm doing it the first time and I'm going to, to be following the steps. Here you can see that they are explaining the process uh, on a step-by-step -step basis. So I'm going to do the same thing, make sure that I have all. Firstly, I, I need to approve letting the contract interact with my land token. And then the second one, the first transaction is an approval. So I need to pay gas the first time. And the second transaction is the actual conversion from land token to Aave token. Be sure to visit the, so for anything less, uh, less than five minutes, I should be paying like a 71 G way. Um, so let me just edit so to, to make sure that I'm paying the, the correct one. So I'm going to, going to set about 78 then save. That's about the equivalent of a dollar forties. Now I'm going to do a confirmation for those that are using the hardware wallets. We must do an additional step by confirming in your RE token. And once it's approved, you should now check the activity, click this, go to either scan and check if the transaction has been approved. It should take anywhere from a minute to five minutes as based from the Eto gas station with the amount of gas that I have paid. We are back and the transaction has been uh, completed with a success here. So if we are going back to that page again, you should see that with the next step is going to perform that migration from LAN over to RV. So this is the token residing in my wallet. And after the migration, we will have this amount divided by a hundred to this. So the next step now is to click the upgrade button and to decide on the fees. So if we go back to the Ether gas station again, which we, we are seeing that these fees are increasing. So we better be paying more gas. Otherwise, there may be a chance that we will wait for a longer time than expected or we may have a stuck transactions. For a guide to how to unstuck your, your transactions in the Ethereum blockchain, you should see my other videos. Today, uh, we will just be talking about this uh, strictly. Now, we must adjust the gas fee to uh, about 95 and click save and this is about six dollar plus in uh, gas make sure that uh, we are interacting with this migration contract here okay and this is transaction it will be broadcasted over to the ethereum blockchain and we will again launch this transaction over at ether scans to make sure that this uh, currently is stating that this con this transaction will be performed and completed in less than three minutes while the previous one it, it took way much longer at uh, 15 minutes time for the new rv tokens to be showing in your metamask wallet we must take the contract address the new rv contract address uh, token address i correct myself and go to this and go click your assets and click add, add button custom tokens and paste the new address and click next you should see that uh, now in your wallet it should be displaying rv token if you have that token in your wallet so once if it, it is successful you should see the land token be transferred over the amount by a hundred by divided by a hundred times over to the rv token so let's wait for this transaction to be to be completed this transaction has been completed successfully as shown in the either scan. And now if we are going back to that page again, you should see that we are the proud owner of a total of 41.63 uh, RV token. Now the stake option is available here. Should we proceed to stake? I think we'll leave this staking uh, to be explained in greater detail in the next video. If we you have uh, added the RV token address, we should be seeing that the land token in our balance is zero. Then the new uh, RV token amount will be shown over here. This concludes and marks the end of the land token swap to RV token. Uh, with that, I wish you best of luck in your journey to navigating the crypto. We will see you and talk more about crypto in the next video. Bye for now. This is Warren.